Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you had a great weekend. So there's something that's uh, been worrying me lately. It's a developing trend on the internet where people are just trying to get their little 15 minutes of fame or get Insta famous, where they're doing these training things that you'll stand with one hand in the air holding a dumbbell while having a rubber band around your waist pulling you in one direction while you have a kettlebell on the other hand doing kettlebell swings uh, with a balloon, blowing a balloon blowing a balloon up uh, and all that while standing on a Swiss ball and this is going to make you a better rugby player. It's probably going to make you a pretty good circus act but none of that has got any relevance to actually being a rugby player. So when it comes to rugby, rugby is a pretty basic simple sport uh, and when it comes to the fitness side of rugby there's basically three things you need. You need to be fit enough to actually do the 80 minutes, the full 80 minutes. You need to be strong enough to make contact and also receive contact right and then you need to get a little bit of speed so you can play a faster and bet better game right so from a fitness point of view you need to be fit you need to be strong and then you need to work on your speed right but that counts for basically anything anybody can get fitter stronger and faster so what's going to make you a better rugby player is actually getting on the pitch and actually improving your rugby skills okay not standing on a board one one leg uh, with a dumbbell in the hand Right, so what I'm going to do is every Monday I want to get back to basics, right, and we're just going to do a Monday, Monday movement, basic movement. So for this first little video, uh, body weight squats. Can you actually just squat down, right down, bum almost touching the heels while keeping your heels flat on the ground? Can you do that? Uh, if you can't, uh, probably a bit of mobility and flexibility issues, but that is a basic human movement, okay? being able to squat right down. So when it comes to squatting with a barbell on the back, what's the right technique? Should I go parallel, below parallel, slightly above parallel? No, you're a human being. So the first thing you need to be able to do is work through a full range of motion. Okay? So your first uh, movement I want you to start concentrating on and developing is just a body weight, full body weight squat. Right, keeping the heels on the ground, right, and trying to get your bum right down, right down to the ground. Right. If you need to be putting things underneath your heel, it means you've got a deficiency somewhere, whether it be mobility, flexibility, it's probably going to be a bit of flexibility and mobility in the ankles. So that is something you need to work on until you can do a full body weight squat before you try standing on the ball with one leg doing your squat with a dumbbell in there right so that's it for your Monday movement start doing that your body weight squat making sure keeping the heels on the ground getting your bum right down uh, and yeah like I said every Monday I'm gonna come back to you with a basic movement that you need to be able to do before you try any funny stuff right have a great day guys get those body weight squats going and I will speak to you soon bye